When you are watching this video, you will be breathing visible and non-visible substances. Some of them are essential like oxygen, others like particulate matter and ozone you can do without because they are air pollutants. According to EA latest data, many people in Europe are breathing polluted air every day. How much depends on where you live. If you're living close to a busy road, or when somebody smokes in your house, or when your neighbors are burning wood in a wood stove, you might actually able to smell this. Some of you might remember the colored smoke coming out of chimneys in the 1970s and 1980s. The situation has improved since then. Many of the emissions have been reduced over time. For example, SO2 emissions has been reduced by about 80% over the last 20 years. However, for some pollutants like particulate matter, we have not been so successful and much has to be done. Although we have been able to reduce many of the emissions, it turns out that unfortunately also lower level of air pollutants are dangerous for your health, leading to anxiety, headaches or for example breathing problems. If you use the latest information, 9 out of 10 city dwellers in Europe are breathing air which the World Health Organization deems harmful. Research has shown that in 2010 in the European Union about 400,000 people lived shorter due to air pollution. For some of you it can be several months, for others up to two years of your life expectancy depending on where you live in Europe. Since we can't avoid breathing, this is an issue of concern to everybody. This polluted air causes our quality of life. It's no fun of suffering headaches or having anxiety or if you're not able to concentrate at school due to air pollution. To these direct health effects we should also add the damage to our ecosystems on which we rely upon for our food and water supply. About half of the European sensitive ecosystems are suffering from eutrophication, which is an oversupply of nutrients. The costs of air pollution to our society are high. There are estimates that it can be up to hundreds of billions of euros a year. This to attend sick people at hospitals or to cover up for people reporting sick at work. These costs could actually outweigh the cost of reducing air pollutant emissions. Most harmful air pollutants come from human activity like transport, energy production and agricultural production. Many of the air pollutant emissions are also emitted by activities that emit greenhouse gas emissions and thus lead to global warming. Also, we don't talk only about European emissions. Our demand for goods and services are also leading to air pollutant and greenhouse gas emissions in other parts of the world. You yourself can take action by making choices. When you know that transport is one of the important air pollutant and greenhouse gas emission sources, you could select green options for transport, like cycling or public transport. You could also consider to buy locally produced goods or select an energy provider that makes use of renewable energy. My name is John van der Denne. Thank you for watching.